Welcome back, Mem Jim, Friday night. Pit six, Virginia zero, we're 174 pounds. For the Panthers, Luca Augustine. Christian, when I got a chance to talk to Coach Gavin, he was the one guy I felt like he was really excited about that wasn't already a top six guy in the country. Said he's got a really bright future, works really hard. And he talked not only about his wins, but he's had some really good close watches, losses. Excuse me. You're a coach. You know what that means. And he mentioned his potential. So exciting for him to watch him wrestle Marcelli here tonight. Well, and this is a weight that, you know, Coach Garland didn't know uh, earlier in the week who they were going to send out. You know, uh, kind of a roster battle going on still here uh, in the room. Uh, could have been Justin Phillips or Hudson Stewart at this weight, but they go with the fifth year uh, Vic Marcelli. So going to be an interesting bout here. Both of these guys unranked, so so really a swing match and a match when you're down 6-0 and you're the Cavaliers, you really need this one at 174 pounds. Yeah, they, they had two matches they could have won right out of the gate. Like the draw worked where they started the duel was good for Virginia on paper, and it's, it's gone the other way, right? Yeah, so you expect two guys to, to kind of go out and, and grab wins for your team, and Pittsburgh steals them uh, on the road. So we're halfway through the first period here at 174. Not really much going on, but these guys doing a really good job fighting for underhooks and head positions. So, And Marcelli's got a bundle here, at least it looks like from this side where he's kind of got him in an X out or, you know, all these different terms for it, depending on what part of the country you're from. But it didn't look like he had it tight enough that the referee thought he could do anything with it. So both guys really just kind of like fighting in a phone booth, holding steady in the center of the, the mat, hand fighting, no true committed attacks yet. And Augustine takes the first leg attack of the bow. Marcelli does a good job getting hips back, head position, clearing ties now. So, a little shrug attempt for Marcelli. And I will tell you Last my- 25 seconds here. That old lefty body lock is lefty over under his position a lot of guys are not as comfortable with as that opposite side Christian so like my dad was a judo guy and had us practice here a lot you can control the tempo a lot because she's got a good handful of singlet there too Augustine did and they didn't and the referee's right there uh, call, that, call that a mulligan here's tomorrow's here's tomorrow's college basketball doubleheader Matt Cleveland leads Florida State against Jamaris Burden at Pitt in our first game at 3.30 Eastern. Then it's off to the Dean Smith Center for Caleb Love in North Carolina, hosting Tervaki and Smith and NC State, another Tobacco Road rivalry matchup. It'll be a great afternoon of hoops right over on ACC Network and the ESPN app. I'll tell you what, Christian, nothing makes me feel smarter than talking about high-level basketball. That's that's my wheelhouse right there. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, I, I, uh, I, I'm not you a basketball... You and I got the height for it combined. <laughs> I, I'm not a basketball player, but basketball is actually my favorite sport. Uh, to it, play or watch? Both. Uh, it's, really? Yeah, just because, uh, you know, the, the guys are just everything that I'm not. They're like, they're tall, they're fast, <laughs> they're athletic. I, I'm not any of those things. So just watch, <laughs> you know, watching the athleticism of basketball players just fascinates me. It. Augustine with the quick escape inside of five seconds. So the riding time at this point, not a factor at all. The, the attacks are starting to open up a little bit, but no one's taking any big risks. Nice Got a stoppage here. Oh, that's for the ha hands, hands to the face. To the but face. I, I think they both kind of uh, knocked heads there real quick too. You know, during that that little hand. They're just the trading face email exchange. addresses for Christmas cards next year, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Who, make whose sure family that, Thanksgiving are we going to? Yeah. Uh, right. Like who's going where on Arbor Day kind of thing. So we're just figuring it out. Forty-five seconds left in the period. Now there's the first real shot. And talk about. Finally, like a high-level sprawl, right? Like, just get him back and re-wrestle out of position. But you see Augustine feels like he's getting to his ties more. 
And, you know, you talk to most high-level coaches, they want guys to work to get their to their ties. And once they get that tie, then it's go ahead and, and pull the trigger. So it feels like he's getting there. Oh, nice, nice little inside, inside step. Trip. Nice the defense. Wow. wow. Marcelli's wow. hips are, are just insane. Does a great jo job getting his hips to the mat, belt buckle to the mat, and, and somehow That's grabs some good a leg core out strength of that. too. Yeah. Somebody's been on the bow flex, you know, getting it done, right? Yeah. Far oh, ankle left pick. side knee tap. Yeah. So this is a great sequence here. Looks like Marcelli's going to pick down. So great inside trip. We both saw it come, and he traps that leg. But he did. But Marcelli does a nice job of elevating. Still looks like he's dead to rights here, and just basically hip heists his way out and climbs. So prevents any damage. Now we're in that short sit position. Augustine's trying to suck him back. And that position right there was just, you know, veteran experience, right? Not panicking when, when things yeah. kind of get a little iffy. That's a great, that's a great point, Christian, yeah. Because there's a lot of people that would just like, I'll just give up the two, right? And that was not the case. Doing a good job is Augustine, right side half. Oh, oh. Created some pressure. Kind of little, little, little hip heist action there from Marcelli. Almost gets him in trouble, and he's got that, that, uh, Trap arm. Yeah, that, that hammer lock on the back. And I always I always tell my kids, you know, this is when you're on bottom and guys got your arm behind your back, it's probably the, one of the worst positions to be yeah. in in wrestling. It's such a disadvantage. Well, um, now riding time is definitely being a factor here, unless something happens with incredible urgency. We're about to roll over a minute, so now. And, and they call Augustine for stalling. <laughs> he got caught peeking at the clock. That's why, that's why the referee hit him. As soon as he looked up at the clock, he hit him. Just, that's a freshman. You got to be. You got to look with one eye, not both eyes, Christian. Yeah, you, you look over at coach and be like, "Hey, coach, give me some chips. I'm just chilling here." <laughs> hey, he tra He did the work to trap the arm. So, Marcelo's okay. Granby, but right into the lap instead of out of it. Wrist bar here, looking for a Blair ride. It feels like Marcelli's doing one move, then another move, then another move, instead of chaining three, four together. Yeah, but he gets to his feet now. 40 seconds now. Go He's time go. for Marcelli. Now, Augustine does have a stall warning. Could make a difference. 30 seconds. Butt to the edge from Marcelli. He takes a peek at the clock and is like, all right, I got to make something happen here. But I think he should just let himself get pushed out of bounds to get the tie-up he wants. Like he's not, he's not going to get out of the bounds. Stall, right? There you go. 12 seconds. Yeah, whatever. The stall doesn't matter. What matters is do you get a restart where you can score. And, and, and this is where, you know, this is that shot you've trained your whole life. What's your best takedown? Arm spin attempt. But he doesn't follow it up and just kind of going to give up the takedown. So, if you coach Augustine, you got to be happy with how he finished, right? He rode hard, got the last takedown, stayed in the middle. So that puts Pitt up 9-0, three regular decisions so far. 